In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually get rich quick and no, it's not a green screen. As you can see, I've just moved into my new apartment in Dubai. But yeah, I've got a call in 10 minutes, so I'm just going to quickly thought I'd shoot a quick video for you guys and explain to you how to actually get rich quick. And no, don't worry, I'm not here to sell you anything or any kind of thing like that. I'm just here to give you basically what's worked for myself, how I've been able to at 22, let's say, buy whatever I want, £15,000 Rolexes, or let's say, move to Dubai, become a resident, and even, let's say, make over £3,500 daily. So this is one of my uh, stores from yesterday, so if that refreshes, just so you guys obviously know that I'm trustworthy or you can listen to myself. So as you can see, 3.4K yesterday, I'm 22, and this is how I've been able to get rich quick. So I'm just going to tell you about my experience, what I've learned, and you can implement it yourself and let me know if it's something that will work for you. So the first thing in order to actually get rich quick is you need to pick the correct vehicle. So what I mean by that is that what you work on is more important than how hard you work at it. So for instance, if you your vehicle is a job and you work very hard on your job or whatever, by the end of the year, you, you might get a pay raise of what, a thousand pounds, two thousand pounds, which is a linear fashion, meaning you earn X amount and it maybe goes up like that. It's very linear, it's almost at a plateau and the how much work you put in doesn't correlate to how much you actually get paid. And in order to make more, you just need to spend more time, which means you won't get rich quick. You'll get, you won't even get rich slow either. You'll just, you'll just kind of get older and, and that's about it. So in order to kind of get rich, you need to stop trading your time for money. And that's how I've been able to make, let's say six figures a month or seven figures in two years doing what I do because I've picked a vehicle that, that is first of all disassociated my time with money because now I trade value for money, which is in the form, let's say I do Shopify dropshipping. So that my value is in the form of products that solve people's problems. So I'll simply sell stuff online on my website. So first of all, it's online, it's on a website. It's My website's open 24 hours of the day. So that's how I've stopped trading time for money and I solve problems in exchange for money. Money. So for instance, I'll sell products like a back cracker or a neck cracker, which that's obviously alleviating physical pain, but it could also be sort of emotional pain. So even like a t-shirt like this, like even people think, oh, a t-shirt doesn't solve a problem. How is that a kind of problem solving thing? However, if all your t-shirts are baggy or they don't fit well or they're bad quality, then this is obviously going to be a solution to that. Obviously you need the muscles and that for it. But in terms of that, the first thing you need to do is stop associating your time with money. And you do that through picking the correct vehicle. And your vehicle can also be like myself, Shopify dropshipping. Um, it can also be Amazon. It can be SMMA. It can be crypto. It can be anything that doesn't have a direct correlation to time. Because in these kind of vehicles, opportunity is exponential. Meaning, like I said previously, the linear kind of job in entrepreneurship and business and these business models, it goes like that. So in the beginning, it might be slow, 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 but then it can take off. There's no job where you can earn twenty thousand pounds in a day. Do you know what I mean? Unless you're a professional footballer, of course. But that's what can happen in entrepreneurship is. So even for instance, if you're on two thousand pounds a month and you went and asked for a, a, a raise at your job, you'd probably be allowed maybe ten percent. But if you were to go from two k a month to two hundred k a month, I couldn't even tell you the maths on that. But that's probably like what a ten thousand percent increase or, or whatever. So that would never happen. Whereas that can happen in entrepreneurship and then when you pick the correct vehicle. So that's the first thing because. There has never been one of like MTV Crib episodes or whatever. I can't remember if it's still shown, but the, when I used to watch them on MTV Cribs, um, anyone who was like showing off the house in that, it was either one, a rapper, a footballer, or an entrepreneur, like, or let's like say a business owner. It was never the 95er who got rich by going down the slow lane and investing his money in stocks and bonds and retiring at 50. That They were never on the show because it doesn't exist. It's impossible to go down the slow lane path and expect fast lane results. So I understood from an early age that what I chose to work on was more important than how hard I worked. And prime example is I'm not the hardest worker. By all means, I'm hardworking. But if it was down to hard work alone, like joiners or uh, workmen and all that kind of thing, or manual labor, like jobs would be the highest pain. But, but they're not for a reason, because let's say they fall into that linear fashion where they trade time for money. So yeah, I understood that, I got rich quick, and that's the fast lane. But one kind of last tip that, um, is only listen to people who you want to emulate. So if your mum and dad are telling you to, let's say, go down the slow lane, which is the traditional sort of path, going to university, studying, getting a job, getting a mortgage, investing in a, a retirement, that's the, um, well, unless you want to actually do that and have a life similar to your parents, then of course listen to them. However, if you don't want to have a life similar to them, then don't don't listen to them because someone who's not rich cannot teach you how to become rich. It's the same with myself. No one, I've never listened to anyone who had a life that I didn't want to emulate. And so that's why I've always went against the kind of majority and always done my own thing. Because if you ever find yourself on the side of the majority, 
take time to pause and reflect. Because if you want an uncommon life, which is obviously one like myself where I'm 22 and I'm retired and I can buy what I want to stay in the, the mo one of the most expensive places in the whole of Dubai, then you can't do common things. So it's impossible to be uncommon doing common stuff. So that's the kind of final thing I'd like to leave you on. Take time to pause and reflect. If you find yourself on the side of the majority, then how can you get rich doing that? You need to kind of go against the grain. And once you're doing that, you will receive backlash. You'll get people telling you it's not going to work, you're doing the wrong thing. But it's important to understand that only listen to people who are in the position, like you say, that, that you want to be or are on the way to do that. So I hope that does kind of explain to you how to actually get rich. Solve problems, don't trade your time for money, learn high value skills, pick out the correct vehicle. That's say the most important thing because you could be in a rowboat rowing as hard as you can. Whereas if I'm in a big speedboat, I can just do that, press one button, I speed right by you. Because people aren't actually working harder than you, they're just working on the correct things. So if you do want to pick the correct thing, like I say, I'd obviously recommend Shopify dropshipping, which is what I do. So if you do want to learn more about that and kind of see if I'm going to be able to help you kind of scale that up, you can book in a, a call using the link in the description and I'll jump on a call with you and see if I'm going to be able to help you out. But like I say, you can obviously choose any online business model because I could have chose any of them, like Forex, Amazon, crypto, and I would have became successful at it because it, it's down to the person whether stuff works. It's not the business model. It's That's something that people say, oh, I tried this and it didn't work. When most people say they try something, what they actually mean is they watched it one video on YouTube, tried it themselves for about a week or a couple of days and gave up. And that's their equivalent of trying because the truth is in life, if you actually try, it's impossible to fail. Because people say, oh, if you try your best and you don't succeed, it's it's okay. But the truth is, if you actually do try your best, it's it's impossible to fail. And I mean that and I'm I'm living proof of that. There's I've dedicated my life to this and like I say, I hope this inspires you to start. And if you want my help, book in a link in the call um, under the video. I'm not here to sell you anything. But, but I hope this helps. Drop me a comment down below um, on kind of what kind of videos you'd like to see next or that type of thing. So hope that helps.